My father said I could be anything I want to be. And it's up to me to turn my daydreams into realities. And typically, I just go with the flow as I paddle streams. But now my passion burns like calories for my purpose in this thing called life. What position do I play? I'm on a mission every day to decipher what kind of life I should lead. Should I lead? Should I follow? Am I filled or am I hollow? I need water because this life has been a tough pill to swallow. Although that begs the question, who am I? No, seriously, who am I? I haven't come to a conclusion. I need answers, but all I have is options. And my heart is always shopping for new identities that need adopting. Because I've been the outcast. I've been the jock. I've been the straight shooter. I've run from cops. I feel like the actor, but in this scene they took away the props. I have nothing to hide behind, and here I stand, exposed like tan lines, left with the question, who am I? Three simple words to plan my time, and they're vital. My mind's on standby, my soul's still idle. Titles describe content, and I've been a book without a cover. Ask my father and my mother for assistance or some other kind of help. I'm feeling smothered by the media, it hovers what I want in front another and another and another. I've discovered nothing. Who am I? Everything I plan to be hasn't worked out. Insanity. Webster can't define me. You're looking at a jack of all trades, wearing a mask of all shapes, ready to act with no shame. It seems my possibilities are endless. I could be someone to follow, or someone hardly worth a mention. Like Twitter, I'm bitter because my friends are trendsetters and dress better than me. I'm not trendy, am I? But I could change, and spend my change in dollar bills on fancy things and swallow pills like my friends do. I don't do drugs, but I love to pretend to. I mean, it's hard to turn down what they lend you, what they send you. Weekends tend to be a curious set of days. Friday and Saturday, I do it all. But by Sunday, I'm ashamed of what I did. I'm on the fence, and here I sit. I go to church sometimes, and each time I ask God to answer the question, Who am I? Does he know? Does he care? Are you listening? Are you there? It only makes sense to ask the maker why he made what he made. And since we all look different, our purpose can't be the same. I am someone, an individual, who's mostly confused and sometimes spiritual, looking to answer this question, praying the maker will respond, hoping society will quiet down so I can listen.